hey guys how are you doing welcome welcome to my channel if you are a first time viewer i usually talk about knitting yarn crochet and all those yarn craft thing that i do and so today is another episode and i have some finished object as well as some whip I, that i wanted to show all of you so let's get on to it shall we all right so the first thing that i want to tell you is finished object and i'm wearing it so i'm so excited that i am so happy that i have finished this project it has been kind of interesting because it's a um, uh, how do i say it it's this pattern is by petite knit and it's the style sleepover I, I'm not sure probably that's how you pronounce it I'll put it on the screen so you can see the name of the pattern and I will also have a link to all the things that I have um, used pattern for so that you can find them down below and I don't have any affiliated link so yeah those links are just um, to for you guys if you are interested to see where the pattern is or you are interested to follow along I mean yeah anyway so I'm wearing the style sleepover this petite knit and let me show you I'm not currently like I'm just sitting on the floor right now because I think this corner of the room is more not as busy as uh, you do my usual podcast where you see all my yarn behind me so yeah so anyway so let me just show you so this is the style stable it's like a vest and I really like it it's like a textured fabric so the all this texture there is diagram for it when you buy the pattern and you will see all this so this is wash but I did not block it I just lay it flat to dry because I think the I um, I just don't think it's necessary f to block so yeah so I like how it turned out I like the fitting I like the sizing and everything so this is the third size that I followed in the pattern and yeah everything is it's quite interesting so this is the first time I knit this kind of construction yeah where you start from the back yeah and then you just pick up stitch from the back <laughs> yeah so it's a paid for pattern so not gonna say much about it and the yarn I am I used for this is the alpaca cloud and this is from knit pick so that's the color so the colorway is called Leonardo Leonardo so it's a 50 gram ball 123 yards so this one is made in Peru and the fiber content is 100% baby alpaca and this is uh, yarn weight number three so it's a DK weight so I just used this um, I didn't held it with anything so I just held this alone and that's the fabric it created so I have six balls of this mm, I use five and a little bit of the six ball so for size three six ball will be enough okay so it's very straightforward so you can find the pattern link down below as I said yeah so this is the first piece that I have completed I have uh, shown this to you f in the last podcast so now it's complete so super happy and since then I have complete also two other projects so I'll show you the next one which I've also shown in the next uh, sorry in the previous podcast which is also another pattern by Petit Knit which is called the Northland Sweater so this is a um, guy pattern 
and I made this sweater for my brother and I'll show you the sweater first so this is the Northland sweater it's a very yeah it's just a basic sweater and that's the uh, shoulder construction so interesting for me as well also first time doing this kind of construction and yeah it's all complete now and ready to send off to my brother so yeah this is pretty long I this is in the smallest size and the yarn I use for this is the Himalaya everyday new tweed this yarn is 100% acrylic it's an anti-peeling acrylic and I bought this from Hobium two three years ago probably and this is the color look at the yarn it's pretty it's not just plain blue but there's also like like a um, marled effect yeah there's different variation of blue actually in the yarn and I don't actually know the colorway before I thought this was the color name but apparently that is probably just the word color and the color number is mm, 75107 so that's the color number I think not very sure so the pat I will link the pattern down below as well where you can find this pattern this is a yeah it's I actually made this like probably in two weeks which is quite fast for me and yes so that's my second finished object and the last finished object that I wanted to show is um, baby sweater that I made for my sister who is expecting a little girl soon so cannot wait to meet the little princess so I made this baby sweater for her yeah I will put the pattern name in the screen because I cannot remember it on top of my head yeah it's something like seed of spring something like that so this is a free pattern by Katie Payson and you can find the free pattern in yanspiration.com so it is so sweet and so lovely I love the color this is like a fuchsia pink and there's also cable detail at the back and also the sleeve you can see the sleeve so yes so I also made this the size six months I believe because that was the smallest size in the pattern so yeah so this is the six month size so pretty so cute I love the color so much and the yarn I use for this is this is also 100% acrylic and this one is from Mary Maxim it's the maximum value you can see it's a worsted four weight yarn and yeah 100% acrylic and the color name is called medium pink number 014 it's a hun oh, sorry this is a 227 gram skein 474 yards so yeah I use probably uh, I'll say less than half probably I still have this much left and yeah pretty happy with how it turned out yeah, so sweet I love the cable detail you can see the cable detail there at the side really love it 
so I think I'm into cable nowadays uh, I think it is because it's kind of like challenging to me so I yeah I really uh, I did enjoy making cable so that's why okay so next let's move on to whips I have a few whips well probably have I have five but one of them is not with me now it's in my bag which is at the back so I'm not gonna get that but that one is um, a s pair of socks that I'm making for my daughter I have mentioned it in the previous yeah two podcasts before this and I haven't really done much on that because that is usually just like a travel project whenever I'm on the road but I'm not going out that much so didn't really get a lot of work done on that so let's uh, I'll show you what I have here so I'm working on another raglan sweater and this one is this is the raglan sweater so the neck is pretty wide I think I did some uh, a little bit too much of a um, of an increase on the collar area but I think it should be fine once I put the neck band on uh, the ribbing for the neck band and I love this color so much this is such a pretty color it's just a very basic raglan sweater and this is a pattern called bricks I this is a free pattern I'll link it down below I'm not very sure who is the designer but yeah I'll just put the link below if you are interested the pattern name is called bricks and the yarn I'm using for this is another Himalaya everyday new tweed yarn it's the same with the one that I made for my brother but this is in the colorway uh, it is like a brick red color orangey red brown kind of color <laughs> and there's also some variation in the yarn you can see it's not just one tone but there's like a marled or speckle effect in the yarn very pretty and this one the color number is 75114 that's the color number and yeah I haven't really gotten much just I will I just managed to like uh, need like probably about two two and a half inch after the uh, split for the sleeve from the armpit area just about two and a half inch yeah I still have a long way to go but that's all right it's a mindless um, knit from here on since it's just all stuck in it in the round so this one is now like a um, sit down watching movie kind of project while watching movie kind of project yeah pretty mindless so that's fun I have something that I am doing that is not as mindless as that and I really need my concentration on this next whip that I'm going to show you and it's a cabled sweater that I am making it's really it's a um, it's like a very challenging kind of knit for me because I'm not extremely good at um, cable I've only just done the cable uh, the baby sweater that I show you and then before this I have done one cardigan and I've ever done a uh, socks yeah which was a practice kind of cable pattern but my pattern my cable pattern is usually the the very simple one so what I'm 
making the next one is a little bit more complicated it's a free pattern as well also from Yanspiration and the designer is also Katie Payson which is the same designer as the the baby sweater for this one so I don't remember the name of the pattern oh no what is it called it's called honeycomb something I'll put it on the screen and let me show you I haven't done much so this is this is done like um, front panel back panel and then probably you have to do the sleeve so I'm just half not even halfway at the back section so I'll just show you <laughs> Yeah, so this is what I'm doing. It's such a... Um, how do I say? Not, some, not a mindless knit at all. I have to keep referring to the chart. Mm, yeah. And really require my concentration not to lose count as well and but it is so pretty you can see the cable detail so pretty and this is the first time i'm doing this it's so intricate for me <laughs> probably those who have been doing a lot of uh, cable knit will find this one like okay but because it's my really first time doing all these different kind of cable and I am so happy looking at it right now it is so pretty oh my goodness so pretty even this kind of like braided kind of cable is my first time doing this and then I definitely love this this uh, like diamond shape cable I also love the middle middle section here oh my goodness it's it is so 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 pretty isn't it pretty wow okay i cannot get like i keep looking at it every time i like i cannot believe i actually knit this it's like so pretty i don't know and it's free the pattern is free it's in yanspiration i'll put the link down below so you can check it out um i don't know i just wanted to see if i can do it i don't know this is this is not even halfway so yeah definitely take some time because i'm not used to so much cab cabling work but i'm so happy so i'll tell you about the yarn so the yarn that i use i don't know what is the fiber content this is a yarn I, that I have for how many years now? Oh no, it's like... So this is the yarn. Uh, this is the yarn that I got off a friend. And uh, I think there's the... Uh, I, I don't know if you've no, uh, seen this before. I mean this brand. And then this is the yarn. So I believe this is acrylic. I am not sure but that's the color it's not just uh, like the green it's like a tonal green yeah it's a four weight yarn wait is this four weight probably yeah I don't know is this four weight three four weight not sure but I I got the gauge um, got the correct correct gauge as per the pattern so i'll just use this but even if if this is acrylic it doesn't bother me because i do use acrylic yarns i don't really mind what fiber of yarn i use because i just want to use up my stash so i haven't been buying any yarn this year so that's a good thing i do have a subscription box but that is like a monthly subscription so it just renew itself without me if i did not unsubscribe so i don't really count that as like a yarn haul or like 
buying yarn like I used to buy yarn like almost every month before but I stopped doing that because I do have a lot of yarn so I wanted to use up the yarn that I have so yeah I have five skein of this I hope it is enough actually as per the um, pattern suggested the yard yardage for the whole sweater I don't think I have enough but I think I'll get away with it because I don't plan on making I don't plan on making such a long sweater as suggested in the pattern and uh, I know that my sleeve definitely won't be as long so I hope from there um, you know I don't have to use as much yarn so yes so this is the yarn I'm using and I haven't finished the first skein so this is the first skein I just have this little bit left and yeah so super super happy with how it's turning out I think the sizing came out really nice I mean well this is just one panel but I measured it against one of my other sweater that I like and I think I like the the sizing of this this is the third size yeah this is the third size so yes that is my second whip so the third whip is another pair of socks that I started and I have quite a number of socks yarn I'm looking at them right now really wanted to use them up because that's what I bought them for uh, my intention was to make socks out of them and um, I have bought a few socks yarn from Hobie before and they are the Atlas Atlas yarn they are 75% superwash wool and 25% polyamide and this is the how the yarn label looks like and that's the color I am using So this one there's no color name on this but I think the color number is a four. Oh, this is the Atlas Happy Feet. Ah I see. So it's 100 gram 455 yards. It's a super fine one weight yarn. There. It's a pretty pretty color. I love the purple in here purple and then there's like the lighter blue darker blue but I haven't really gotten far with this I actually just started so I only got this much <laughs> this much done so yeah so yes that's all I did so my rib my rib uh ribbing here at the cuff is not very um long i just did it like i think five rows of rib and then i just start on the leg por portion so this is like a moss stitch i think i think that's what you call the moss stitch so i just wanted to do something little bit interesting rather than just like a plain vanilla socks yeah I have a lot of vanilla socks so you know just wanted to change thing up so that's all I did with this one nothing much to say about this and I have one last whip that I wanted to show you this is a crochet project and I was uh, really wanting to like um, use up my leftover yarn from some of my older pro other project that I have and they are all acrylic yarn and I really just wanted to get rid of them so that it's not um, like occupying my craft room as much because I have so many things in my craft room like so many things so yeah getting rid of one bag at a time actually helps so what i'm doing now is i am crocheting something so this is a crochet project with my leftover yarn i'll just show you what i have been doing 
so I have been doing granny stripe wow look at the color look at all the color wow it is so colorful isn't it <laughs> this is just granny stripe I am this is obviously too small for a blanket I'm not making a blanket because I think a lot of people do scrappy blanket but um, I do have few blankets already so I wasn't planning on doing a blanket I am planning on making a small bolster so yeah so this is the body of the bolster <laughs> so colorful and then I did the side of the bolster already and this is the going to be the side of the bolster at each side and then this is going to be the body and I have just I'm just going to sew saw this uh, saw this around yeah so that's what I'm doing, just getting rid of my scrap yarn. Yeah, so that it's not just hanging out in a bucket over there. <laughs> so yeah, these are all acrylic by the way, it, they are the same, same brand acrylic yarn. So just really wanted to get rid of it. Okay, and I really like um, project that is like something that I can use so a bolster definitely I'm going to be using bolster I can put it in my living room couch or like for the kids they have their playhouse and I can just put it in there and it's colorful and fun so why not I have also planning to do some basket like a crochet basket with my other leftover yarn and i think it's going to be i like it because it's very functional and it you yeah i can really make use of the basket and yes i think that's all i have for now yeah i am so eager to cast on more project I do have plans on casting on probably two more projects and they are all garment <laughs> yeah I have um, I have met a friend a knitting friend like not obviously I have met a lot of uh, knitting friends through YouTube like all of you guys which is so much fun but I have just come to know that I have uh, a colleague in the same office and she she knits so I was so excited when I found out that she knit because I don't have anyone close to me that actually knit or crochet and I never can share any of the like if I tell my colleague like what I plan to do, what kind of project I plan to cast on, the yarn I'm gonna use, they will not be interested. They'll just be like, ah, I see, okay, have fun. <laughs> that's all they usually, that's the comment I usually get from people when I tell them stuff that they are not very interested in. <laughs> but I met, met this, uh, I mean, I've met her before, obviously, but I didn't know she knits. So it was so exciting to me and like after I know that she actually knit, wow, I just, you know, text her and then like we just start sharing photo of our whip, our FO, the yarn that we have, like oh, so much fun. Well, but then talking to you guys is also fun. That's why I like to do this kind of video so I hope you guys also have fun watching my um, what I make and then um, the yarn that I bought sometime yeah so I really hope you guys have fun so that's all I have and I really hope you guys stay safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next one